Hello and welcome to the Draconic Awards Online Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Online Challenges interface and talk about what Online Challenges are. Online Challenges are a way to participate in the Draconic Awards without needing to go to a live event. Although not as glorious as being there in person, Online Challenges allow you to participate at the comfort of your own home. We will be running many of these online challenges either through our various Facebook group as monthly type of challenges to bigger type of themed events. We may even sometimes throw a lead up to a challenge to a live event. Each online challenge has its own rules to enter so be sure to read the event information. Just remember that online challenges require you to upload photos of your work. The judges themselves will judge your entry based on the photos you upload. So it's important to take decent photos of your work. If you're not a very good photographer or don't know how, then it's probably a good bet to get a friend to take them for you. So let's take a look at the online challenges interface. Go ahead and go to the draconicawards.com site, click my panel. Once here, go ahead and log in. If you do not have a WC account, go ahead and sign one up now. Once you're in my panel, go ahead and click online challenges. This page will list all the upcoming online challenges that you could partake in. This will give you all the information you need about the event as well as when it will take place and when entries will be accepted. For example, we'll look at the WGC Mouthful Painting Challenge number one. Here we have all the information about this as well as the link to submit entry. Now I'm only allowed one entry per category and there are only one available category. So basically I could only submit one entry for this event. Go ahead and click Submit Entry. You have all the information you need about the event, how to enter, and what the rules are. First of all, enter your entry name. For example, Shen Long is what I am entering and painting. And then I will go ahead and enter the description of the entry. Now, the entry name might not describe exactly what you're doing, so it's best to describe here. I am painting Shen Long from the 10 thunders faction this is important because an admin will review your entry and will either approve it or decline it if they find that there's something wrong with your entry they'll decline it and you'll have to re-enter another entry again now most online challenges will require you to upload an entry proof photo for example the rules for this entry here this is from a beginning to finish challenge so you need to upload proof that you are starting from scratch Starting from scratch means the model is still in box or sprue or can already be built and only be primed. To upload proof, take a photo of the model in the scratch state along with the proof of time and date. This can be a photo of the model with a newspaper with the date displayed or with your phone displaying the date. This date should be close to the date in which the time you have submitted the entry. Your entry will be reviewed and approved by our judges and you'll be notified by email through the email address that is on your WCC user account. Now go ahead and select your proof photo and then click submit your entry. This might take a few seconds depending on how large your image is. Now you will see the confirmation screen. Basically just look over your information and when you're ready go ahead and confirm your entry. Now you will see your entry listed here as well as waiting for approval. All I have to do is just wait for it to be approved. You'll be emailed an approval information or decline information depending on how well it goes. Now I went ahead and approved my entry here. Go ahead and reload my frame. Once approved, you'll see new option in entry line. Info. If you click info, it'll just show you the info of your entry here. Build log is a way for you to create a build log. Sometimes it's a good idea to create a build log just to show progress of what you're doing over the month or whatever the challenge is. It's also a good way to show judges what you're doing. Sometimes judges will look at your build log and say, hey, you could have done this better, you could have done this, or what have you. More information usually is better. The complete link allows you to complete your entry, and we'll go over that in a little bit. First of all, let's take a look at the build log. Now, a build log is not automatically created when your entry is approved. You have to actually create a build log. It's a separate system. It, but it's a system that you can see both here and on the WC website. For example, right now I'm going to create a build log for uh, Shen Long. And we'll just call it Shen Long Build Log. It'll pre populate information based on the entry information you have entered. I have entered this challenge and I want to. 
showed the process how I painted Shang Long. Now this information can be edited later. Once you have entered the information, go ahead and click start a new build log. This will enter you into the build log screen. Now up here you will see your build log information. You can edit the build log or if you want, delete the build log. Now let's go ahead and start a new entry. First of all, each entry that you enter is usually a step that you took to create your, you know, your piece or painted your piece. For example, in this build log, we'll go ahead and say primer. Or sorry, this build log entry. Today, now you could enter your own adjusted date, but usually the current date is fine. Today I have So now I would go ahead and upload, I'll go ahead and add the build log. Once you add the build log, you can edit it whenever you want, but you can also upload photos for this build log. You're allowed up to five photos per build log. Now, you can enter a reference text. For example, maybe in my log I say C diagram, or rather C photo one. This way you can reference to the photo itself photo one and we'll go ahead and upload our primered model now I'm using sample files and photos for this so don't go by what I've done all right and it's like this is not Shang Long all right so this allows you to upload more photos again five max and we'll go ahead and upload this one too no reference on this one just so I could just show you examples of what's going on here now there's two photos for this entry now. Now these are, this is the default photo right here showing here. Default meaning the photo to show as the entry photo when listing it or what have you. You can change the default photo by clicking this gear icon to make the that picture the default picture. You can also delete the picture if you want. Go ahead and make this default again and we'll delete this picture. Just click yes if you're sure, no if you're not. Now we're going to list a new entry. Go to list entries and we'll add a new entry. And we'll say base coded. Today I went. We're going to add this log and we'll add pictures to it. And there we go. We'll just pretend that's whatever. Okay, so that photo is uploaded. We got all the information here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the log. The log is you just go click the view log here, and this is linked to your W to the WGC website. Now this is my build log on the WGC website. Right now it's not showing any entries because I have to publish them, which I totally forgot about. So let's go ahead and publish these entries here. And that's something you have to remember that you have to publish these entries once you're done typing or whatever. So we'll go back here and go and reload it. There you have it. Here's your build log with all the entries listed from most recent. So if we click base code, it'll show you all the information about your log, your entry, and it'll show people the pictures of what you've done as well as uh, all the inf like this one yeah, I have uploaded to and you, they could see it now this is what that default picture is see how this was the defaulted picture for this primered entry so it will show that primered entry uh, that picture for that primered entry so that's really what you do to make a build log now you can delete your entries as well okay go and delete the base coded entry It'll delete the photo under that as well as the entry. And that's really how easy it is to use the build log. And you create a build log for as many entries that you have entered. Now let's go back to online challenges. Let's go and let's just say that you have completed your entry, ready to submit it. Now remember to complete your entry before the actual event is over. Once it's over and you haven't completed the entry, then it's considered as disqualified. Okay, to complete the entry, go ahead and click complete. 
It'll show you all the information about taking your completed photos. Okay, these are the photos that we're going to use to judge your piece. So remember, good photos. Okay, don't blame us if you take crappy photos and you get a really low score. So you're allowed to upload eight completed photos, minimum of one. So what we highly suggest is taking the photo of the front piece fully and a photo of the back of the piece and then any detailed photos, certain uh, different angles as well as different things as part of your uh, entry that you want the judges to see. So it's important to highlight really good parts of your uh, model so that we can see how you painted your stuff. So let's go ahead and upload a completed photo. This rhino guy. Go upload a completed photo. Okay, and then it'll go ahead and you'll see it here. We'll go ahead and uh, upload another one. And you'll see it there. We'll just do this area. Now I'm just uploading any photos, but for you, you want to upload, you know, the photos that you took pictures of your entry. Okay, once you're ready and satisfied, go ahead and complete your entry by clicking complete your entry. We'll go ahead and uh, ask for confirmation. If you are sure, go ahead and click yes. And once you have done that, you will see that the link for complete entry is gone and it just says completed there. Now, all the while this is happening, as long as the event is still going, you will have access to your build log. Okay, you still add more stuff to your build log. Just be mindful of the date. Later on, you'll be able to go to the WC website area and just go ahead and continue your log there. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions about the Draconic Wards My Panel, please let us know in the WC Artist Group. Have fun and get your paint on.